Hello everyone, it's Angela here. How are you guys doing? I'm here to, again today just to put uh, uh, another little video into our journal. So we're going to work on a quick little one to go into the signature over here. So it's going to be the very first page. So just um, on this page over here opposite this very short one, which we'll get to in an, on another occasion. All right, so I'm going to get to it. Um, got a bad cough at the moment, so I'm hoping that um, it's not going to be too long. All right, so this is. I'm just going to put the signature to the side, and I'm going to talk you through what you need to do today. Now, as usual, I have got an envelope here. This is quite a large envelope. This is nine inches by six and a half. Um, and I wrote on the other side here, that equates to t about, more or less, 22.8 centimetres by 16.2 centimetres. All right, so that's the first thing. Now, guys, go and grab a mailer. It doesn't matter if it has a window or not. Um, you can adapt it, and it doesn't need to be this exact size either. As I always mention to you, please go and have a look at what you have. All right, so... What I've done here, first of all, is I have actually made a fold line on this envelope. I've done that at the um, from the right hand side at the five point five and a quarter inches, or thirteen point five centimeters from the right, and I have um, made a score line over here and um, cut this. Uh, sorry, folded this over like that to make it easier. Lift up your flap. Okay, I'll just explain what I did there in a moment. Fold that over and then just burnish that um, really gently like that so that you've got a flap, that's, you've got a piece that's going to fold over. Now, what I did with the envelope at the top here, because I'm not going to close these, I um, just took my pencil, I folded this over like that and replicated the same sort of angled edge there with my pencil and then I've just cut it out in the middle there and the same over here okay so that has given me two separate flaps now which is what I want all right so um, I'm going to start covering the inside of this envelope um, and let me grab those bits so the first uh, piece I want to stick down here is a piece that I gave to my Facebook group as a freebie and it's just a bit of a, a fonted page um, so I'm going to stick that down just over here and because I'm not using I'm not planning on stitching um, very much on this piece at least I'm going to just um, stick this down now I did make this a double printed page for another project and this was just a piece that was over so Hence, it's double-sided. Sometimes what I do um, when I've made a misprint or something, or, you know, it happens to me when the, the printer runs out of paper, I um, it sort of prints halfway and then spits the rest of the page out. Uh, a good tip is not to, you know, is to keep that paper. Print on the other side, um, especially with something like this when you're going to stick it down. Oh, now the clever thing to do would be to start with this bit over here at the top, I suppose. And get that up a bit and then we can stick that down. Now, I did have a little bit of a funny um, area there and I'm going to show you how I did this um, with the piece on this side. So I haven't done anything with that. Now at the moment this is open across both sides. Now for this side here, um, <clears throat> I want to show you quickly how I go about getting that shape exactly right. So uh, what I've done is I've cut a, a piece that's the full length, the full rectangle here, um, like that, um, and I've cut it out. So it's the full, uh, right up to the edge there, as you saw. Then what I do is I take this bit and I fit it right up against the edge there so make sure that it's really up against the edge and it can't go any further and it's within the the fold line there then i just take my pencil and i just trace oops trace along the edge and on the side like that okay now i've always got an eraser because 
you know it's a pencil so any marks that you make on your work easily are remove, removed okay so there we've got it like that and now it's just a case of cutting that out with your scissors so I just wanted to show you that on one side in case you weren't sure and that way by doing this you get a perfect um perfectly a perfectly good fit for the edge of your page right so right so now we're able to um take that and stick it down i'm not going to stick this one down right yet um i've got a few things i need to do before i do that so I'll get talking on that in a moment. Just want to um, take my distress ink and just because I've distressed the rest except this bit that I wanted to show you. All right, so as you can see now, when we go to stick this down, you've got a perfect um, fitting there. Okay, right, so um, as I said, I'll come back to that bit. Now I wanted to cover up the insides here. So I've, I've done the same thing, fitted this in um turned this over drew around it and that gave me the shape okay so this one's going to go on this side and fit in like that and we can stick that one down so it has got these little strips so i'll just take those off don't need those and then we can just go and stick this down here all right, so how you guys been this weekend? I'm sure that you've um, had some great weather. We've had some nice weather, although I can feel the chill coming, definitely. Um, weekends are always so busy for me, got lots to do. Um, but yeah, love my crafting time. Right, so let's just hold that up a little bit get that matched up with the edge here before I stick it down like that there we go okay so there's that one um, and we'll fold that down in the middle and then I've just taken a piece of my avocado digital I'm going to just stick the same on this side here <clears throat> now you don't have to put something there of course but um, I like it all to match, so I have just done that. There we go. We've had a bit of a, a petrol shortage here this weekend. I hope that that's going to improve, oh my gosh, in the week. Otherwise, I don't know how people are going to get the jobs done that need to be done, you know, with the essential workers and everything. I hope that does improve. So, yeah. Let's just trim off a little bit here because this is slightly um, sticking out and I don't want that. There we go. And then we can just, um, this does, the distress ink does just hide a multitude of sins, doesn't it? So there we go. We've got that sorted. I had already done it, but I was just touching that area up. Now those need to fold over. And what I like to do is just take my ruler um, and just see exactly where it is that I need to do it. So it's probably easier if you do it this way and you can see the actual score line already. That comes from the envelope itself. Okay, so that's just going to help. And then we can see where we need to go. And then with the ruler, so I think it's like that. There we go. That's one. And then the other as well. Okay. I just do that so that I don't get a crease forming there. And um, so that's the way I do it. And then this one as well. Okay, so there we go. We've got our flaps. Now I have got some um, paper to go on this side. And this is, I've just taken one of the scraps from the box that I throw in and on each side here. So I'm going to just open that up. Now we won't be doing much on that particular area there.
all right so we've got that done so we've got both of ours ready to go and if there's any area that you want to just make sure that you've covered properly you know go over it with a bit of distress ink as i said it just hides everything doesn't it so i'm going to just put some on the fold line itself there we go right so these are nice and sturdy now um we can um just burnish those down a little bit more okay happy with that right now um i do want to put on this one but i've got um something i need to do to this first so what i've done is i've taken one of the little postcards sorry this way um from my digital add-on kit and i've lined it with a little bit of avocado paper like that um i just want to um i'm not going to sew this although you could uh, making like a little notebooklet thing just a little a journaling spot that i want to get on here and the reason why i'm not gluing this down yet because i want to put something on there after i've glued this just to keep it closed all right so i'm just lining this up i'm gonna do it like about there i think yeah more there because i'm gonna have a little circle here um, like that so I think that's where I need to have it so let's get that stuck down there quickly now you could make this a tuck spot or a little pocket so you could do that so let's just do this and then maybe I, I will have it as a pocket I'm not sure if I'm going to put anything in there at this point but um, don't want that quite over there this is how it's going to be so I'm just going to get that stuck down on that side here so pretty close to the bottom and the edge just in case all right so we've just got that bit there now a nice little spot just to have a little journaling spot there and i have left it open in case you want to stick something there but now what i do want to do is i've got my little tiny punch here and this is not the easiest one to use but i want to just measure it here you're looking at about a centimeter or half an inch of a circle so that's what I've got there and it's really small so I just want to take a couple of bits now um, grabbing my little scrappy pack um, pile here and I'm just looking for some um, I've got that but I'm looking for a little bit of card card stock so I've got a piece here and I want to just cut out a little bit of card that is really hard but there we go I've done it okay so we've got a little bit of card and then I'm just going to cut out a little circle here okay and I've pressed it so hard it doesn't want to release now. There we go. Right, so that's all right there. Okay, and I just want to stick this on the top of this little circle. And this um, is going to just be my little uh, spot to keep the book, the little note place, writing spot closed. So I just need to get that on there properly there we go and i've put the card at the back so it's just keep it a little bit more sturdy all right so we've got that there now i've got a little um pot of brads in here from my scrapbooking days this is really an old set i want to just grab my pokey tool i'll need that in a minute and I'm just looking for a tiny one, and there it is. So I've just got this really mini brad that I'm going to use. And I do have my um, little foamy foam rectangle. So I'll just put that on there. And that looks about where the center is. So I've just made a little hole there. And... Put our little brad in the hole like that 
There we go. Okay, now oh, I will need that pokey tool one more time. So now that we've got that there, I want to just put find a spot for this. So take it that way. I want to sort of get it in the middle. Uh, not meaning the middle of this. So I think I'm going to put it right there. So I'm just going to put that through. Did I go through there? No, I didn't. Okay, I thought I went straight through everything. Right, so what I'm going to do here is I just want to put a little bit of reinforcement on this page here. So I'm just going to get another the other side of that scrap. This is just to protect the page because it's just a piece of paper. And just want to stick this on the underside. Nobody's going to see this, so it doesn't matter. I'm just going to stick that there. All right, so just a little bit of reinforcement, really. And then we'll just put that through there. Right, so now if I put the little brad through there, And then we can just open that up like that and get that pretty flat. There we go. Um, I could have really moved that over a bit. Let's do that a little bit more over. The joy of these things. It is a little bit of trial and error. Now I have got a little bit of a, a hole there. I'm just going to stick another piece of paper on, guys. So this is what you do when it's not quite in the right place. Just patch it up with a little piece of, you know, uh, a little spot, which is fine because it just strengthens the area here at the back. So it's on a chain smash. And you're not going to see this when you have your um, bit over. So I just want to make it a little bit closer. So I think I'm going to... Be brave and go with that bit there okay so I just moved it over and now with this here oops let's close it we won't see that she says <laughs> right let's get that in there right you see it's all gone <laughs> that's better I prefer that spot so let's just open that up Use my bone folder just to smush it down like that, nice and flat. And there we go. That's better. That's going to hold this little um, journal spot nicely. All right. So we can then just tuck it in when we don't want it to open. So that's just what I've decided to put there. So we can stick this down now. Okay. Get some good glue right on the edge there and the rest of this. There we go, guys. Not hard. It's coming together nicely. Right. Um, I'm not going to put that on because um, we're still going to be busy here. So I've got things coming together properly there. I want to put a little bit of a decoration in a pocket here. So I've taken a, a piece of scrap, the light pink leaves, love these. I have made a double. This is about um, four and a quarter or 11 by mm, just short of seven. Um, so two and three quarters. I've made it obviously double that. So five and uh, a quarter folded that in half and I do that because it just gives it strength um, I always worry about the edge of these pockets here when um, you're putting things in and out and writing and reading and faffing so I like to do the pockets double sometimes <clears throat> so I just wanted to put that in there like that um, and then I just wanted to uh, put a little bit of distress ink on the side here as well okay right so that then is going to 
make a pocket I'm going to stick this little sentiment apple spice and all things nice I like that it's from my autumn um, sentiments um, sheets and obviously this all the pages I'm using today are from my autumn luster journal kit all right so if you were wondering okay I'm going to move this over because I've just got that little uh, die cut that I want to stick on Okay, so that's going to go just at the bottom here. Just going to angle it a little bit. And I might need to cut that off just a little bit. Okay, so let's stick that down. There we go. So we've just got a little bit of decoration on there like that. Okay. Now, um... I'm going to take a, a very narrow strip of glue there on this side and then across the bottom, of course, and just so that I've got maximum width for this pocket um, like that. Now, you could have stitched this on here before you stuck it down. That would work. You could stitch it now because you're not going to see the back. Um, so I'm going to just stick this down here like that okay so we've got our little pocket there as well all right so things are coming along nicely i'm quite liking that and um, now i want to just go to this side over here and i'm going to just um turn it over i think just so it's easier to work with like that and then on this side um pretty easy i've cut one of these pages out and i absolutely love this color um, and I'm going to just put that onto that section right there. So nothing, no problems there. It's straight and easily done. We just glue it all the way down. Okay. So that's going to be the front of our little um, goodie. All right, so that, that's what we're doing there. Right, now comes the exciting part. Um, I just want to quickly um, do that on that front there with some Distress Ink. Um, what I've done now is, um, um, I'm going to show you what I've done. Um, so let me sh show you what I'm doing first. What I've done here is I've got two flaps, and I'll show you how I made those um, using a tag. Um, one of them is going to go on here like that and the other one is going to go on here like that okay so they'll they'll be like that and I will end up sticking those on there in a minute when I line them up right so they're going to go like that and this is easily done right um, I did back these onto paper scrap paper and so they're nice and firm as well so let me show you. I took a tag like this, the large tag, and what I did was, first of all, I folded it in half. So you want to just take your tag and you want to just fold it straight in half here. So let's just do that. So we've got there like that and fold it straight in half. OK, while you've got it in half, before you cut it, just take your pencil and draw tabs on the opposite side there like that. OK, cut those off. So you've got a tab tops at both ends now. OK, so there we got it. Now you can go and cut this straight in half. Now, I'm just going to use my scissors, I think, because it doesn't matter if it's not dead straight. But you want two halves like that. OK, so this wasn't the, the tag I used. The tag I used was this one and you can see I've cut the edges off there okay so <laughs> um, just put that there and there uh, so now you've got your two bits I then covered these in um, a different paper so whatever scrap paper I had right. so um, I've just folded a half a inch over there or like what just over one and a quarter centimeters and as I was saying you just, I'm guesstimating it. All right, so it's not a crisis. So there we go. Okay, 
So there we've got two sides like that, which when you back them and stitch around them like I have, you have two bits like this. And I've done exactly the same thing. All right, so I want to stick these on here ever so quickly. So uh, I need to make sure that I get this in the middle. So I'm just having a look here, there, there. So that's the middle there. Okay, so I want to get that like that. And I'm going to put some glue on the back here. So just do that so quickly. Now let's make sure that we get it stuck. Okay, so there's that one. We can turn that up and this is where I need it. Okay, so I'm going to just stick that down like that. And this is where these little pegs come in great come in really handy and I can just stick those on there so long. Now we want to do the same with this side. So at the top here, we want to just put some glue on it like that. And we want to do the same. Now with this one, I'm going to see where, um, I think with my bone folder, let's use that. So anything straight, probably the ruler is better because it's got a little lip. So we'll do that. And now I know that if I lift that up, that needs to be against that area there. And there we go. I've got it straight. Okay. And then just push that down. All right. So we can put two little clips on here while I show you quickly what I'm going to do with this. Okay. There and there right so what i want to do is i want to just take um a few little bits i've got this you can never have too much autumn just another one of the sentiments um i do like them and i, I, I do use them a lot i'm going to stick that down just over here i think um yeah a little bit underneath there i think let's do that and I did have one of my little butterflies, which I'm not sure if I'm going to put it on yet or not. Then what I did was I had the fussy cut pumpkin. I fussy cut out one of the pumpkins from one of the pages. And then I've got, this is from my ephemera pack. I've backed these onto card and stitched around them. So I've got the postcard and the beautiful dahlia picture there. Um, so those are the bits of ephemera that I'm going to use. Now just to finish off what we want to do here on the tabs um this little piece of paper that i had earlier i'm just going to um maybe that's not the right color let's go with some pink right so a little scrap of pink i just want to tear along the edge here and along here just want to make a little reinforcement tab really and this is how i do it <laughs> and the back one i might just trim bit straighter okay so I've just got this little scrappy bit here that I use the scraps for all sorts and that's the way to go about it now on this side I want to just um, make a little bit like this and get that to fold over like that okay so I've stuck that one on there and then we just want to do the same on the other side here as well so just cutting out tearing this with my fingers because I find it it gives it a, a, a rustic look and I can't like that. So yeah, don't don't stress yourself out about cutting things straight and all that sort of stuff. So just going to give that a little fold over like that. Um, open that up quickly and put that over my poor dahlia. But you know, it's got to be done. <laughs> so we want to just get that over there in the middle. Okay, so we've got those there now. Um, I can take these off um, and then I'm just going to use my um, copper doll and got some of my um, little eyelets here so I just need two and I'm going to just put little holes into each side here so there and this is such a great tool. Right, so let's get that done there. 
and then on the other side as well. Okay, so we've got that done as well. Right, so now I'm just going to use some of this cording that I got. I got this from Plum Boutique. I know that because of the, the label she always puts on everything, which is so beautifully done. I um, just want to pull some of that out, um, and I'll put that in in a minute. So let's just put everything together here now. Right, so I've got this Dahlia um, beautiful card that you can journal on. You've got your little pocket here, and you can put whatever you want in that pocket as well. Um, so some secret stuff. I'm going to put this in here. Put the lid down first. This is going to keep this flap closed. And I'm going to put the pumpkin in here as well. So just let that stick out a bit and that like that. Um, i put that in a bit, I think. Yeah. Um, and on this side, we've got our little... Um, writing spot that can just be written on there and it can just keep closed like that so that's all right um, and you've got your little pocket space here so if you wanted to put something in there let's just grab something here quickly um, just as an example um, a little tag like that this isn't the one but I'm just showing you you could stick anything behind that that could keep that closed as well you know so just into the pocket at the back there and i haven't backed anything beyond this tag but it would work if it had card behind it all right you don't need to though that's just a suggestion then we're going to close that up here okay. so on the front here i haven't got anything there and that's because i'm going to just use this as a sort of tuck spot for this um, postcard that I've made. So that's gonna stick out like that. And then all we need to do is put our cord through. So, sorry, put that through there and through there. And then we can tie this with a bow. Let's just cut some of this off here. There we go. And then you've got that all together there. And this, these little, tabs are going to hold everything nice and flat as well so and this is nice cord you could use it doesn't have to be cord you can use um, ribbon or anything you like really and I could have done a better job of it than that couldn't I right so let's just do it a little bit tighter that's better okay that's looking better right and just get those down like that so that little pack then is then able to go into our onto our journal page so i'm just grabbing the signature here um and then that will then glue into place on that side over here so keep it bearing in mind you've got your fold line for your signature so you want to keep it um trying to centralize it there but keeping it quite close on that side there and then um, I think what I'll do is I will use my Fabri-Tac for this just because it's um, uh, gives me a little bit of longer setting time which is what I'm, I'm going to need all right so we've got this in play I'm going to put that, as I said, there, quite close to the edge, and then just press that all down. And then that will go and fit nicely on the edge. And it's pretty flat, really. Pretty flat. Okay. Right, guys, that's it for today. Um, I'm sorry the video um, cut out a few times. Not having the best day myself or with my equipment. But I hope that you can appreciate what we've done today and give it a try. Okay, so uh, thank you guys so much. Um, I hope to feel a lot better next week um, and bring you um, a nicer video. So um, thank you for bearing with me um, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye.